Our fund recognizes social justice recipients for 2023. Oh, the LGBTQ <laughs> so sorry, I thought it was a video. <laughs> the LGBTQ Social Justice and Equity Funders Collaborative, a unique collaboration between the R Fund Foundation and the Community Foundation of Broward, granted eight nonprofit organizations a total of two hundred and fifty thousand dollars in support of innovative initiatives supporting social equity and the civil liberties of LGBTQ plus residents of Broward County. Formed in twenty twenty two to create a more informed and and empathetic environment for the LGBTQ plus population, the strategic partnership combines critical philanthropic resources and expertise for the benefit of the LGBTQ plus community and all residents of Broward County. This year, the donors and recipients were celebrated during a grand reception in Wilton Manors on April 4th. A joint selection committee thoroughly vetted each nonprofit grantee and received between $29,000 to $50,000. And the recipients of the 2023 LGBTQ plus Social Justice and Equity Fund the Funders Collaborative grant include Equality Florida, Yes Institute, American Civil Liberties Union, Bayer University, Hugh Songs, Museum of Discovery of Science, Ujima Men's Collective, and World AIDS Museum and Education Center. The purpose of this award is the, is the expansion of this successful program promoting dialogue and eliminating HIV and AIDS stigma throughout education, artistic expression, and cultural programming. I love our fund. I recently got a chance to sit down with, um, with the head of their... their David Jobin? Yep, yep. I love him. I was going to mention him. Yes, like he, was, <laughs> he was great. Um, they do such great work, and I'm so happy that those, especially those organizations were chosen to you know, to get that, that much needed money, mm -hmm. uh, you know, especially after, during the pandemic, all these organizations just looked at themselves and like, what are we going to do now? Yep. And I, I love how our fund and other organizations, other nonprofit organizations that raise money for these nonprofits were able to step in and be like, you know, let's find me, do innovative programming and we will, you know, help you with paying for that. Yeah. Well, so and you amazing. know, and there were no organizations that got hurt the most than a nonprofit organization during COVID. Yep. You know, I mean, where were they going to get the money from? There was nothing going on. And our fund made sure that a lot of those organizations stayed afloat during that time. And that's what they're still doing. $30,000, $29,000 can yeah. literally make your organization be okay for yeah. a while. Especially a small organization. Especially a small organization. And they pick such exceptional organization. Okay. ACLU, we know, right? Quality Florida, we know. World AIDS Museum, such an incredible, incredible organization and in all that they do. Ujima's Men's Collective. Okay. Oh, that's yeah. John Buckley and those incredible men yeah. that all um just so they shine so bright for our black and brown brothers out there and um you know organizations like that 30 grand is an, an incredible amount of money for them yes yeah. yes and it allows them to innovate mm -hmm. and they you know i i really believe in innovation as resistance to what's happening in the world and these nonprofits, you know, uh, uh, with, with that, with those funds, they can really do great things for our community and yeah. for all communities across, you know, in this intersectional world that we live in today, where all of us are affected, not just the LGBTQ plus community. Yeah. 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 And, and, and every year, it's not the same organizations also, right. where you'll be like, okay, oh, you know, they have their favorites. It's not like that, you know, right. where um, I think it was when I was with Unity Coalition. Hi, Herb, right? And I had to um, sit for one of the vetting um, vetting meetings and they ask you all these questions like I was like I thought you guys were just giving out money I thought I just had to show up and smile you'd give me some money they're like no it's a, it's a similar uh, organization to Miami Foundation it's kind of the the more Broward mm -hmm. yeah version of Miami yeah. Foundation thank you our fund for all you do yes, yes thank you our fund LGBTQ plus news is vital for our community and for the broader world as a whole we have enough enemies at Fox News Tucker, Sean, and Lara are loud. We need passionate allies. Happening Out Television Network, Queer News Tonight, and It's Happening Out are literally out of the closet and into the headlines. Our community needs your support. Like this broadcast and subscribe now to ensure the growth of the entire LGBTQ plus community.